Hello everyone, welcome to Best Recipes with Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make Best Rice crispy Valentine Treats. And even though this recipe is a familiar one to most people, there is a difference on the recipe amounts and the technique and how people do it. So stay with me and I'll share my recipe with you. Start by greasing the pans that you're going to be using. Place a generous quarter cup of butter in a large saucepan and turn your heat on high. Stir it constantly until the butter starts to melt. Add your marshmallows before the butter is completely melted. And we need about 42 large marshmallows. Stir it constantly so that it doesn't stick. Turn your heat down low. Stir it briskly so that it will help to melt the marshmallows and it won't need to be on the heat as long. Remove it from the heat before the marshmallows are completely melted. And they will continue to melt just with the heat that's built up in the pan already. Now add about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of vanilla. And using your large spoon, continue to stir it until it's all well incorporated and all the marshmallows are melted. And this will also help it to cool off some. You need it to be about lukewarm before you add the Rice Krispies. If it's too hot, it will cause the Rice Krispies to shrink and they will be too hard. And we want our treats or squares to be nice and chewy. Next, I add five cups of Rice Krispies all together. Add a cup or two at a time and stir it in between, making sure that all the Rice Krispies are coated with the marshmallow mixture. Now then you press it into your greased pans, and when I say press it in, you press it down until it's firm. Now I did two separate batches so that I would have enough to do all the treats that I wanted to do today. So as you can see, I'm using different pans. This is a cookie sheet, and I grease my hands and press it down so that it's nice and firm. It doesn't have to fill the whole cookie sheet in, just as long as it's about an inch thick and remove the heart shape from the pan before it's completely set so that you can get it out of the pan easily. And you can see what I'm using all these different shapes for as we go along. Now you'll need to get out cookie cutters and I'm looking at which would be the best one to use. Hmm, not the plastic ones, they will break. So I decided to go with the pink one because it's metal and it's the right size for what I want to use it for today. And of course Rice Krispies are a little bit harder than what a cookie would be so you need something that's fairly uh, tough and won't break. And you need a cookie cutter that's open on both ends so that you can push it through and remove your shapes easier. And the leftover Rice Krispies will make into balls and make Rice Krispie Pops. Just shape them into balls whatever size you want. I put them in about an one and a half to two inch balls. I grease my hands before I do this so that it's easier to work with. Now I'm placing popsicle sticks in them because I don't have any lollipop sticks today, but that works just as well. So I'm going to dip them in some lint chocolate. I melt that in the microwave and check it at 30 second intervals. Make sure that you take it out of the microwave before it's completely melted because you don't want to over melt your chocolate. So you dip all your balls in the chocolate and place it on a plate. Let it drain a little bit and then remove it from the plate and transfer it over onto parchment paper so that you get rid of the excess chocolate. And let this set for a bit, then move on to doing Nutella between the heart-shaped lollipops. And place two layers together, sandwiching a popsicle stick between them. And I'm also dipping them in lint milk chocolate. And then I'm using some lint dark chocolate. I'm melting it in the microwave, and then placing it on the base layer. And spread it out evenly in the shape of a heart. This will be used to hold the Rice Krispie Pops. This one I'm just partially dipping. And here I'm doing a tuxedo effect. And I'll have to let this set a little bit before doing the finishing touches. I'll get some white icing just to put on there to make it look like the shirt. And use a popsicle stick to trim it a little. And I dot on the buttons and bow tie just with a toothpick. And then I sprinkle a few candy hearts on the top of the partially dipped one. You use lots of parchment paper for doing this project. And I decorate the edges of the base with a little bit of icing as well. So some white icing, and then I'm going to top it off with a little bit of red, just for the effect. And when it's a chocolate base, you have to be careful that it doesn't bleed into the icing, so you're a little limited in what you can actually do. Never make sure that it's set really well before you continue on. So lots of treats. What do you think? These actually taste really good. They're nice and chewy and soft inside, and the flavor is phenomenal. And it just makes Rice Krispie Squares a little more fun to eat. And I hope you like my recipe for them. And I believe the chocolate really sets these off. So yummy. So go ahead and make some. They're so easy. And thanks so much for watching today's episode. Talk to you next time.